Let me first give all praise and all honor to the God of my ancestors, the God of Africa, the almighty Amun Ra. This is your brother Radio One coming back at you again with another video of truth and historical reality. Now the name of this video is Neptune's Lagoon is a lying racist pseudo scholar. Yes, that says it all about Neptune's Lagoon. Now Neptune's Lagoon is a low life racist who sits behind his computer because he's not man enough to sit in front of his computer and show his face. But he sits behind his computer talking garbage and teaching pseudo history all day. Now, I was not going to waste any time on this individual, but because he is a joke and he is not to be taken seriously. But since he attacked me and since he needs to be exposed for the liar that he is, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to speak my mind. Yes, I'm going to break my silence and speak my mind on this low life racist individual. So Neptune's Lagoon, he is a sore loser. Yes, not only is he a liar, but he is a low, a racist and a loser. He made over 1,000 videos full of nothing but pseudo history and only has 3,000 subscribers, okay? Now, if I did a thousand videos, you better believe that I will have probably over 100,000 subscribers by now. And all of those videos will be filled with truth and facts. But this individual, it is something very wrong with him. Yes, he sits behind his computer. He probably lives with his mom. Okay, he's probably a sex offender who's on house arrest. And the bad, the, to make things worse, he is a extreme racist. Yes, he is extremely racist. But to make it even worse, sir, he has an obsession with black Africa. Yes. It is something wrong with this individual. He is, he is racist, he is confused, and he is a hypocrite. And he is a fraud. He is dishonest. He, do, he doesn't have it in him to tell the truth. It is something very wrong with this individual. No wonder he, he doesn't show his face. Because it will be the face of shame. It will be the face of deceit. It will be the face of the worst of the worst. Yes, this is the worst of the worst type of individual. And he is probably the type who will make friends with black people and pretend to be their friend, but deep down inside, he is a racist and can't stand their guts. Yes, that's the type of individual this person is. And he teaches pseudo-history. See, only an idiot will believe what Neptune's Lagoon is teaching. If you are smart and you have your head on straight and you listen, you will know that this individual teaches nothing but fake pseudo history. He is a liar of liars. And I was watching one of his videos about the white Ethiopians, okay, which who were known in history as Luko Ethiopians, because we know the original Ethiopians were black, but they were mentioned by this Roman historian called Pliny the Elder, who he says the original Ethiopians are black, but he mentions white Ethiopians, just another word for light skinned Ethiopians, okay, because the Ethiopians are already black. If he calls them Luko Ethiopians or white Ethiopians, it means light skinned Ethiopians. But the problem I have with his teaching, okay, not because he mentions light skinned Ethiopians, because we know that there are light skinned black people, there are light skinned Africans. So 
White Ethiopians, just another word for light-skinned Ethiopians. Okay, the original Ethiopians are black Ethiopians. They're called black. Melas, Mela, black Ethiopians. Luko, light-skinned Ethiopians, you idiot. Yes, Neptune's Lagoon, you low-life, psychopathic, racist idiot who claim that you've been learning history for over 35 years. Well, you wasted 35 years of your life on seeking lies and teaching fake pseudo-history. You a sore loser, man. You need to get it together because you are a liar and you need to shut the hell up. But I'm going to teach you a little something today. So he, in this video, this idiot, he was reading about the Ethiopians who were mentioned in Herodotus the Histories. And Herodotus clearly said that these Ethiopians dwelt south of Libya. He mentions two Ethiopians. One Ethiopians dwelling on the Nile south of Egypt and another nation of Ethiopians dwelling south of the Sahara Desert or south of the Western Sahara or south of Libya. But this idiot said those Ethiopians in Libya dwelt in India. He placed Africans he played he literally he literally he literally placed Africa in India, West Africa on top of that. South of Libya was West Africa. But he said that these Indians or these Ethiopians dwelt in India. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Are you hearing me? India, which is probably about 3,000 miles east of Africa. Nowhere near, not even close to Africa. But he placed Ethiopians in Africa and India because he is a pseudo-scholar. That's what liars do. That's what frauds do. They twist real history and distort it to make it fit their own fake pseudo-interpretation. Okay, he will twist everything. He will even go against what he read to make his to make it fit his own fake pseudo interpretation. Who in the hell you think you are? You low life, no good, racist cracker. Who in the hell do you think you are? Where you where you think you can twist the histories of Herodotus and twist the old histories of ancient historians to make it fit what you want to believe. It's not about you. You lying, no good, two-legged dog cracker. It's not about you. You are the worst of the worst type of racist. You are a confused, fake idiot. That's why I'm here to expose you. It is idiots like this who make people believe that they are something they're not. If you are a Middle Eastern person or even a modern Egyptian or a modern stay the hell away from people like Neptune's Lagoon in 7 Phoenician 7 because they are going to lie about you and they're going to make you look like a fake and they're, they're going to make you something that you are not. Embrace your true ancestors and stop listening to fake, phony, and fraudulent pseudo-scholars like this. He is the worst of the worst. Okay? Maybe he is senile. He's just a senile, um, a, a senile, no good, racist ass, old cracker. But something is wrong with him. You have no business. The histories of Herodotus is 2,005 years, 2,500 years old. 
2,500 years older than you. You should respect the ancients. Okay, and we can go back further than that. The hieroglyphs. The hieroglyphics left on the walls of the ancient Egyptians showing what they look like. And who in the hell are you to give your interpretation of what you wanted to be? The hell with you, Neptune's Lagoon. You are nobody. What you say does not count. The histories of Herodotus and the images of the ancient Egyptians speak for itself. Not what you want it to be. You old racist lion cracker. People like you, I can't stand your guts. You make me sick. You're probably 60, 70 something years old. You've been on this earth for all that time. And you still haven't got it together. You're still a lion racist cracker. Pitiful, sad, delusional, rotten and no good. God. People like this try to make my job hard. They try to expose the truth tellers like myself. Yes. People like me who tell the truth, who keep it 100% honest, teaching my people. And you have an idiot like this trying to make me out of the liar. Yes, idiot like this turned idiot like this idiots like this turns the good guy into the bad guy. He turns the honest man into the liar. Okay? And everything he teaches it holds no weight. You're wasting your time, Neptune's Lagoon. I've been there and done that. Okay, I used to read about DNA studies and all that. It's all garbage. All of your history is 18th century and 19th century AD. It has no ancient foundation. No ancient sources support it. I would rather read Herodotus the histories all day. If, 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 if that was the only source I had, I will read that all day and only that before I read the fake, late, pseudo history garbage that you teach. You made over 1,000 videos teaching nothing but lies, going against the truth in every last video. You are the fakest of fake. First, you will say that the ancient Egyptians were Negroes. I mean, the ancient Egyptians were Caucasians and they were not Negroes like the Nubians. And then you will turn around and say that the Nubians and the Kushites were Caucasians. Make up your mind, you silly cracker. God. This individual is pathetic. You are a pathetic individual. And I challenged you to a debate once and you cowered out. Just like your buddy Seven Phoenician Seven, which I will later speak on. Yes. Who tried to make a video saying that I cowered out of debate. But when you watched the video, I was the one who, who made the challenge for the debate. And Seven Phoenician Seven was the one who really cowered out of the debate. And I will make a video on that, talking on that later. Yes. And then this hypocrite says that we, the debate I had with Weibo Jones, that Weibo Jones was the novice. And she had no knowledge. But yet, according to this idiot, she won the debate. So how could the one who has no knowledge the one who is inferior in knowledge win the debate, you fool. But truth is, I know I won that debate. I dominated that debate. 
because I was the only one on the panel. I was up against, yeah, I was up against three dummies. Okay, Weibo Jones, Andy Warski, and JF. I was the only one who was speaking the facts, and I was the only one who had the superior knowledge through the whole debate. So yes, I dominated the debate. That's like saying that a person goes on a game show and he has all the knowledge and he's scoring all the points, but he still loses the show. Nah, it don't work like that. If you have all the knowledge and you speak in the most facts, you win the debate. And, that's, and I may not have sounded like you, like, yeah, I may not have sounded as good as you wanted me to sound because like I said, I was having a bad day, but I was speaking the facts. No matter if I want to sound good, I'll sound good. Okay, but if I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad day. But no matter how I sound, I'm still going to speak the truth and speak the facts no matter what. And as long as I do that, I will always win the debate. But enough of that. Yeah, so I'm going to close this out real soon. But it is something very wrong with this individual. Okay? Neptune's Lagoon, my advice to you, if you really, if you hate black people, because we, we know you're a racist, we can see it all through your comments, you call black people monkeys, yes, you call people in Africa savages, if you was to show your face and talk that to Africans, they will whoop your behind, they will whip your lily white ass, you no good racist loser, yes. And that's why you hide your face like a coward. Because you know you're a racist and you know you teach pseudo history. So my advice to you, if you hate black people that much, then stay away from Africa. Leave African history alone. Okay? We don't care what your geneticists say about what, what, what race the ancient Egyptians were. Okay? Because it's all lies. And it's all pseudo history. The hell with your geneticists. Okay? You keep the genetics. We take the history. So if you really hate Africans that much, leave Africa alone. Stop talking about Africa. It is something very wrong with you. We do not want you. You are not invited on the territories or on the grounds of Africa. We forbid you to speak on ancient Egypt and ancient Kush. Okay? We do not want a racist, a lying racist, no good fraud like you speaking on Africa. And if we ever see you in person coming into our establishment, yes, we will kick you the hell out. You're not invited. You are a fake and you are the worst of the worst type of racist. At least a, a real white supremacist, if there's ever one, because I don't believe, I believe all these white races are fake and pseudo. And have a, a deep obsession with black people. But a real white racist will teach only on European history. He wouldn't have nothing to do with Africa. But you are fake white racist. So if you're going to, if you hate black people that much, stay, keep your filthy white hands off of our, yeah. Let me say that again. If you hate Africa that much, keep your stinky, filthy white hands off of African history and keep your filthy white hands off of our glory and ancestors. Stay away from the glory of our ancestors. We don't want you. Because you are the worst of the worst. Okay? You, you're talking about my history. When I make a video responding to you, I'm protecting my history. I'm speaking up for mine, okay? Because to be honest with you, yeah, I can't stand you crackers, okay? But at least I keep it real, okay? At least I'm not some racist black man who hate, who can't stand white people, but yet I'm sitting up here trying to steal the history of Rome and Greece or the Vikings, just like the Hebrew Israelites. They say they can't stand a white man. They can't stand a Middle Easterner. 
Well, if you can't stand him, then stop trying to steal his identity. Stop trying to be an Israelite. Okay, if you're going to read the Bible and identify with your ancestors in the Bible, look to the Africans. Look to the Hamites. Okay? The people of Africa. That's who your true ancestors are. But <clears throat> I'm going to end it there. If I have some more to say, I will say it. But you, Neptune's Lagoon, okay, we forbid you to teach history. And if we ever catch you, we will expose the hell out of you. We will ask you questions that you are not capable of answering. You're not allowed to speak on Africa. Stay away from Africa. And until next time, Egypt stays in Africa. Peace.